I like taking some of the tail off because a lot of times it'll catch a hook on it. You know? The hook will get stuck in it. So that should be a good bait there. Let's see if he's got a buddy in there. Let's try this side this time. I don't know how big he is. We'll just tighten up and see. Yeah, I'm happens. terrible at timing at those things. Let's see what we got. I don't know if the large mouth bass. Well, no, it's a peacock. It's big oh, on Mayan sequence. Wow. Got that on film? Yep. Yeah. The other one was a snake kick, so it went way deep into the current. This one went out. Big old Mayan secret. Not what we're after, but we'll keep trying. It's like a big bluegill. Get one bait left. The other one went deep into the into the bushes. It had to be a uh, snakehead. Try to get these close to the weeds. Here he comes. Big old boy. See, he likes the weeds. See him? Look at that guy. That's a nice one. Look at that mouth. That's a nice snakehead. Wow, look at that sucker. That's a big. Oh, oh. Did you get that? Oh, man. Could be a dogfish, I can't tell. Is that a snakehead or a dog? Snakehead. That's a snakehead. Look at that thing. Evil. Let's get it up on bank. Swallowed it right down. Look at those fins. Yeah, it looks just like a dogfish. That's why they call it a bullseye snakehead. It's got the orange spot, like, like a lot like an Oscar. See the white, it's got a white spot and an orange spot. Yeah, it hit just like a dogfish. The second it hits the surface, it's right on it. Look at the flowers and chop it off here. 